everyone. This new year, GTL is back with another season of Analytics Tech Video Podcast and I am Anushka Mukherjee, your host for this episode. In continuation to our ongoing series, Data and Beyond and the latest trends in the analytics space, we bring to you the first episode of season two to talk about banking analytics and how financial institutions across the globe are leveraging tools like Tableau and Salesforce to gain greater insights and analysis from their data. Before this, let me quickly introduce Goldstone Technologies Limited or GTL. We are a full stack BI, data analytics and IT services consulting firm. Our offering encompasses a host of strategic services to help with data planning, reducing costs, accelerating BI adoption, enabling clients to greatly reduce their time to value. Our guest today is from one of the world's leading data analytics and visualization platform. With more than 15 years of experience in data analytics and financial services, she is here to share her expertise on how various banks are leveraging analytics to create innovative and profitable products and services for its customers. So without further ado, let me invite our guest for today, Rashmi Toshniwal. Hi Rashmi. Hi Anushka. Good morning. First of all, thank you for having me here Anushka. Doing these short podcasts is such a good idea to share experiences, thoughts, and trends. I'm hoping all of us have something to take away from these 20 minutes. Let me introduce myself first. Uh, You're all based in Hyderabad, aren't you? So I was born and brought up there. Interestingly, I was born in an Andhra city. I grew up with Kannadiga neighbors. I studied in IIM Bangalore. And I've been working in Mumbai for a decade, for more than a decade now. If that wasn't enough, I used to work with financial services companies across Asia Pacific for a better part of my career. So a little bit about my professional life. I have been a financial services professional for over a decade and a half now. In my current role, I'm a solution specialist for analytics in Salesforce. I work with a broad spectrum of companies from large public and private banks to niche fintechs to help them solve their challenges using data. Thanks for the introduction and we are thrilled to have you on board. Before we move ahead, I just want to set the context for our viewers on today's topic. Banking analytics lets banks reimagine the way of doing business. This could make use of data analytics, data science or even data visualization and augmented analytics, which helps them improve their customer experience and mitigate risk with the help of data driven decisions. Being a solution engineer at GTL, I have come across multiple banking organizations with different data challenges, be it trying to harness data and segment customers in new ways, targeting the right markets, or offering relevant products at the right time. Is this a similar pattern that you are witnessing as well, and are there any technologies in the market that could help bridge this gap? Let's take a step back and see what's happening in the financial services industry today. The first and foremost thing that we observe is that there is an undeniable race to digitalization. As a result of this, the amount of data is exploding. Companies are forced to make sense of this data to drive ROI on any investments that they make on digital. Second, consumer expectations and consumption patterns have changed. From designing the right product to identifying the right prospect, it is all centered around how well do I understand the customer and the market. And finally, third, there is this ever increasing regulation, which is also an outcome of what we see happening around us. For example, climate change, for example, data privacy regulations. Underlying all of these, if you notice, is data. You need to make sense of it. You need to sift through mountains to find relevant insights and you need to distribute them to all your stakeholders and not just a few privileged people inside an organization. Well, I'm sure these along with generating new revenue stream and increasing the long-term value of every customer are some use cases financial institutions are trying to achieve. Can you throw light on certain customers who have leveraged analytics and how it impacted their businesses? There are numerous interesting examples, Anushka, of how financial services companies leverage data and analytics today. The first and the foremost change that has happened in the industry is acknowledgement that data is not a privilege of you, like I just said. Insights need to be contextual, they need to be personalized and democratized for every single stakeholder in the company. You may be a distributor or a merchant, you may be a customer of a bank or an insurance company, you may be an agent as well, you may be a third party. 
or you may also be a relationship manager or a branch manager or a head of a line of a business or a CEO or an MD. The idea here is you get insights delivered to the place where you're working in, a mobile and an app, a laptop or a, a website or wherever. So the idea is you get insights delivered where you work and you get enough insight to make informed decisions and intelligent customers, conversations with your customers. Let's take an example. I want to actually specifically speak about Swiss Re. It's a global insurance company. They use Tableau to help their life insurance clients explore data in a self-service mode. Designed for a variety of personas from let's say a CXO to a product owner, Tableau is white labeled within the, within the Swiss Re enterprise. It is a product, it's actually a data product called as Magnum Analytics, and it's available to clients at a cost. So you see Tableau is not only used as an analytical platform, but also something that can generate a revenue stream for a bank, for a, for a company. Swiss Re has converted Tableau into a revenue generating data product. Another example is that of a large European fintech firm called Big Excite. The reason why I'm calling out Bea Big Excite is, that, is, is because it handles large amounts of data. They use Tableau to deliver deep analysis from data generated by over 120 markets across the globe. Um, customers of Big Excite are people like stock exchanges, wealth management firms, regulators, and others. Uh, I mean, if you want to go down to numbers, they handle 100, almost 100 billion records per month. This is churned into insight that's then given out to a wealth manager or a stock exchange. The last example I want to talk about is that of someone very closer to a home, to our home. That's Mahindra Finance. Uh, with analytics rolled out to, to all their stakeholders via Tableau, uh, this would be in the tune of about 7,000 users. Mahindra Finance has managed to cut down reporting time by over 30% across a variety of use cases. This includes things like performance reporting, business performance, NPA, delinquency, and collections. Collections being, you know, uh, the core subject for a lot of NBFCs in India these days. Wow, those are some interesting insights. With data visualizations, customers are nowadays inclined towards exploring new avenues such as augmented analytics, predictive modeling, and so on. However, they don't have the expertise or budget for hiring developers. Platforms that club advanced analytics and offer it without the need to code would prove to be extremely beneficial in such scenarios. Are there any products or architecture that you would recommend them to ensure the proper data flow? You're right, Anushka. The use cases for augmented and predictive analytics are a lot many today than they were ever before. Uh, you know, from simply prompting a call center rep for a right reply, to sending a nudge to a relationship manager for better customer engagement are some of the use cases that we are seeing. Obviously, there are a lot many more, but then they transcend from diagnostic to predictive to prescriptive today to the last mile. Speaking about the Salesforce Analytics platform, we do just that. Um, to start with, we can help you draw insights from your historical data, irrespective of where where the data resides and how much volume it has we um, we we can work wherever your data resides it can be on prem it can be on cloud it can be on combination of both we coexist with your data management platforms and strategies as they evolve you can then use point and click model building capabilities of einstein discovery to identify significant variables in your data that impact outcomes Basically, you can build more predictive models and embed them into operational journeys. Um, let me help you understand this better with an example. So for, for example, an end-to-end -end journey may be a collections analytics uh, portfolio. We, for example, we will first use historical data around collections to identify patterns around customers, regions, collection channels, and that will basically support collection strategies for the enterprise. We take this a step ahead and make it operational by putting this data together into Einstein Discovery. Einstein Discovery is basically machine learning modeling. It identifies factors that influence, for example, customer and agent behavior. Once we know what impacts an agent behavior or a customer behavior, we are able to predict the most likely outcomes. For example, likelihood of responding to a particular channel. 
This is then embedded into the collection agent's app for better engagement with the customer for a more productive outcome. I mean, those use cases are quite in interesting and I'm sure Einstein Analytics would prove to be quite useful for customers across multiple domains. Now, the most crucial thing for financial institutions is being able to keep their clients' data secure. Can you please talk about some measures that are taken by Salesforce to ensure this data safety? Yeah, thanks. Thanks for asking that question, Anushka. I think that's that's always number one in uh, a financial services company's mind. Uh, for us as well within Salesforce, trust is our number one value. Our uh, top priority always is the security and privacy of data that we are entrusted to protect. So at Salesforce, we have a robust, comprehensive, and a very transparent privacy and security program. We protect customer data in accordance with privacy laws, including the ones like GDPR and CCPA. Our constant endeavor always is to help customers focus on their core businesses while efficiently preparing for and complying with Go, while we efficiently prepare uh, to comply with global and regional privacy regulations. Well, looks like Salesforce and Tableau have some interesting arsenal in their product suite that our customers can definitely take advantage of. In addition, I feel the ability to ask questions in natural language would bridge the gap between data and business users in a much more efficient and seamless manner. I also feel the ability to build machine learning models in Einstein discovery would kind of democratize the entire ML lifecycle to the end users instead of the power being um, centralized with a select few. So this was really insightful, Rashmi. Thank you for all your time and from GTL and all our viewers for the industry insights that you have provided us today. Thank you, Anushka. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you all for tuning into this episode. If you require any more details about our service offerings, feel free to log on to www.goldstonetech.com and we would be happy to help you. Also, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next time, this is Anushka Mukherjee signing off.